Now that the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series has been revealed to us by Rockstar Games with the first official trailer, people were asking themselves the question, what will the size of GTA 6 be? Now that we have our first official look at the game, we can say that this game will be massive. In today's video, we will be discussing the size of GTA 6. We're going to be taking a look at some rumors, some estimations and some predictions. And hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have a realistic expectation for the size. It is important to point out that at this point, Rockstar has not officially revealed the official size of the game. Nobody knows exactly how much space this game is going to require when it comes out for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S in 2025. When will this information be revealed to us? Well, let's look at history. For Red Dead Redemption 2, the game size was revealed pretty close to the release of the game. On October 18th, 2018, Rockstar Games opened the support page for Red Dead Redemption 2, which confirmed the file size of the game for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. For PlayStation 4, the game was 99 gigabytes, and for Xbox One, it required 170 gigabytes. I remember prior to this information being revealed to us, there was a Microsoft listing that indicated the game was going to be 88 gigabytes. And also the box of the PlayStation 4 Pro revealed the size of the game to be 105 gigabytes. Let's read this article by GameRant which was posted on October 14th. Red Dead Redemption 2's Xbox One file size revealed. A listing for Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Microsoft Store officially confirms the file size for the Xbox One version of the forthcoming open world western game. Several weeks ago, the box art for Red Dead Redemption 2's PlayStation 4 Pro bundle revealed that the forthcoming open world western titles game file will take up a huge amount of space on the PlayStation 4 with a minimum install size of 105 gigabytes being required. Now the Xbox One version of the Rockstar Games release has had its file size confirmed thanks to an official listing online through the Microsoft Store. According to Red Dead Redemption 2's homepage on the Microsoft Store, Xbox One players will need to have approximately 88.57 gigabytes cleared out in order for the game to run on the current gen console. With this being the case, fans looking forward to the title might want to start freeing up some storage soon as RDR2 is set to officially hit store shelves in a little over a week from now. So everyone was shocked when they learned that this game was going to be this big. In fact, the game was substantially bigger than some of the biggest games for the PlayStation 4. You can see how it compares against the PlayStation 4 version of GTA 5, which came out at about 70 gigabytes. This game was definitely considered heavy at the time, and it is still considered a big game, but we've definitely seen an increase in game sizes in the past few years. And consoles and PC have evolved substantially and they have grown immensely, with developers now using more high quality textures and assets in their games, and especially with the prevalence of live service games and the updates that most modern games are receiving on a regular basis, less time is being spent on actually optimizing the game. Well, Rockstar never fails to amaze with their optimization. Even though Red Dead Redemption 2 seemed big at the time, and the same with GTA 5, the games take up exactly the space that they require. You can see just how much Rockstar managed to fit in Red Dead Redemption Redemption 2 and GTA 5, these games are absolutely magical. Rockstar truly pushed the boundaries and managed to fit as much as possible on the hardware. So regardless of the size of GTA 6, it will be as big as it needs to be because the Rockstar games are magicians at optimizing games. Let's see what the people over on Reddit think about the size of GTA 6. How large do you anticipate GTA 6 will be in file size? With the release of Modern Warfare 3 and its storage requirements exceeding 200 gigabytes, how large do you think GTA 6 will be? I know Rockstar is much better at optimizing their file sizes compared to COD developers, but Red Dead Redemption 2 is 120 gigabytes. The worlds they meticulously craft combined with the sheer amount of content can explain why their games are so large. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe higher texture resolutions is probably what made Modern Warfare 3's file size exorbitantly huge, lol. With how ginormous GTA 6 will be, likely Rockstar's biggest game of all time, how much storage do you think we need? Think we might exceed 300 gigabytes? Let's look at some of the comments. My take is it'll be around 150 gigs at first and will go up to 200 gigs over the years of updates. Didn't GTA 5 start out at around 60 gigabytes? Yes it did. I remember that back then everyone was so surprised and was talking about how massive that amount was. I say anywhere between 100 and 180. 200 plus on PC. Yeah PC version would be huge. This person provided an educated response to the Modern Warfare 3 file size. Yes but not just that. Back in the day with games being downloaded to HDDs or being played straight from CDs, storage was slow and very limited. This meant developers would heavily compress assets like textures and audio, so they take up less space on disk, and are smaller so faster to load in. The trade-off, cause there always is one, is spending precious computing power decompressing them when needed in the game. Nowadays games are fully digital, so don't have to fit on disks, even physical game disks are just keys to download. On top of that, consoles have now switched fully to SSDs, where larger files are just as easy to load as smaller ones. So the two main reasons for the compression are gone. So some developers are including less compressed or even uncompressed files in order to use 
reduce the precious computing power wasted on decompression on increasingly complex gameplay systems instead. Especially since storage has gotten very cheap and gamers tend to have terabytes of storage, 100 to 200 gigs isn't that much relatively. Even comparing to games historically, the biggest Atari 2600 game to the biggest NES game was a 25 times increase in game file size in 6 years. From SNES to PS1, it was a 400 times increase in only 4 years. Comparing GTAs, Vice City to San Andreas was a 4 times increase, San Andreas to 4 a 6 time increase, and 4 to 5 a 4 times increase. And those released back to back. It's 10 plus years between GTA 5 and 6. It's absolutely amazing if it isn't at least a 2 times increase in file size. Amazing response, very educated and very accurate. But as you can see, a lot of the same topics are being brought up today, and people expect GTA 6 to be huge. So huge that one of the rumors stated that the game would be 750 gigabytes, beating Microsoft's flight simulator download size, which stands at 190 gigabytes. And the game would feature 400 hours of content. Let me tell you, that's not happening. That's outrageous. One of the wildest rumors we've received. But yes, at least a two times file increase from GTA 5's file size is expected. I would say the range between 150 to 200 gigabytes sounds realistic, but I wouldn't be surprised if the game exceeds it at all. From everything that we've seen from the leaked footage, all of the events, the size of the map, the detail, the density that is coming to this game, the NPCs, the animations, the quality of textures, this game will be one of the biggest games of all time and I wouldn't be surprised if it exceeds 200 gigabytes. But guys, does it really matter when you really think about it? Rockstar knows how to optimize their games. They will make the game as big as it needs to be for them to bring their vision to life on that hardware. So as long as the game is optimized properly, the file size will be justified. At least that's how I think about it. The only downside to this I could see is the limits of the PlayStation 5 and the way that we won't be able to have any other games on the console. Let me tell you, I won't be needing any other games, but that could potentially be a problem. And also the Xbox Series S, which the base storage of that console is around 500 gigabytes. I don't know where that rumor of 750 gigabytes came from, but again, 150 to 200 sounds like a realistic prediction for the file size. At least that's in my opinion, but let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of the file size of GTA 6? Make your predictions and leave them in the comments. I also want to take a look at this publication by PC Game Benchmark, which outlines some potential minimum and recommended requirements for GTA 6. These predictions have been made based on the leaks and the trailer. They said we can expect the GTA 6 requirements to be significantly higher than GTA 5 as it's a game for next-gen consoles. Rockstar has announced that the new Grand Theft Auto game will release for current-gen consoles in 2025. That means no GTA 6 PlayStation 4 or Xbox One edition. As Rockstar has not yet announced the PC release window, it is likely that GTA 6 will be limited to consoles for a brief window of time. Taking everything from the trailer into account, we estimate that you will likely need an Intel Core i5, 6600K CPU, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 GPU, and 12GB of RAM to meet the GTA 6 minimum requirements. However, to ensure you can play the game and potentially meet the GTA 6 recommended specs, we estimate you will need an Intel Core i7 8700K CPU, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 GPU, and 16GB of RAM. Of course, these are only our estimates and there is every chance the game will demand more from your system. It is becoming increasingly common for games due for release in 2024 and later to require 12 gigabytes of RAM or more. GTA 6 size, our estimated GTA 6 size for download on PC comes in at 150 gigabytes of SSD storage. This estimate is based on the GTA 6 game size which has been seen in various map leaks and on the previous GTA 5 size requirements which came in at over 100 gigabytes of space. With our estimated GTA 6 storage size being so high, we further estimate that an SSD will be part of the GTA 6 specs. This shouldn't be too surprising to many, considering the ever-increasing presence of SSDs and the minimum requirements for many new games. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos. Join my Discord to participate in the giveaway that I'm currently hosting for an Xbox Game Pass code, 3 months for PC from the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.